In this video, as we wrap up August 2024, I will introduce some noteworthy new Fallout 4 mods. Many amazing mods have been released that will bring a fresh experience to you. Let's start by looking at the gameplay-related mods. First up is Monorail to Spectacle Island. This mod adds a functional animated monorail that travels from the castle to Spectacle Island. It includes lights that automatically turn on at night and is fully navigable. With this mod, you can conveniently use the monorail to reach Spectacle Island without having to swim. Expanding this feature to create a subway system that circulates from Sanctuary to all areas of Boston would be a great idea. I hope someone takes on this project. I'm introducing this mod to you because it has some pretty interesting features. Next up is Climb the Commonwealth. This mod enhances immersion by adding climbable ladders to the game world, offering a new way to explore the Commonwealth. It utilizes climbable ladder resources created by another modder, Neher, for the community. With this mod, ladders are added to various locations in the game, allowing players to reach and explore new heights that were previously inaccessible. The mod is designed to blend seamlessly with the game's existing environment and settings. The creator plans to add more ladders based on community feedback, making this a highly promising mod for future development. Now, you can explore the Commonwealth from new heights. This time, I'd like to introduce a few mods related to new lands. First up is Fallout Vermont. This mod allows you to explore a new area in Fallout 4. Set in the state of Vermont, and features a large-scale zombie apocalypse theme. Players must help the local residents uncover and resolve the cause of numerous feral ghouls. My pleasure. Visually, Vermont seems like a pretty impressive place. The green trees and grass, along with occasional battles with ghouls, keep the gameplay from becoming too monotonous. You can definitely feel the sense of exploring a new world. However, it's a bit disappointing that NPCs just stand around in the village. There are hardly any interior cells in buildings, no dungeons, and no other creatures besides ghouls. While I think it's a great mod for exploring and traveling through a new area, it feels like it might have been released a bit too early. However, if more quest elements are added and the aforementioned shortcomings are addressed in future updates, it could become an excellent mod. To install this mod, you need the Far Harbor DLC, and after installation, you can access the Vermont area through a tunnel north of Sanctuary Hills. Next up is the Bug Swarm Survival Simulator. This mod is inspired by the 1997 sci-fi action film Starship Troopers. In this mod, you will don mobile infantry armor and undertake missions to defend an outpost from the threat of megabugs. You can activate the Bug Blaster program from the terminal in the Battle Dome lobby next to Hubris Comics to start playing. Once inside the simulator, you will be transported to the outpost. The mod features various megabugs, mobile infantry armor, and a combat outpost. You can choose the difficulty level of the enemy waves, easy, normal, or hard. However, be aware that spawning a large number of enemies can cause lag depending on your system's performance. Fallout 4's default settings allow for approximately 80 NPCs to be active at once, so spawning multiple waves simultaneously may result in some enemies not moving. In this segment, we'll be reviewing several rifle-related mods. First up is the Fallout 4 New Vegas Trail Carbine. This mod adds the Trail Carbine from Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 4, featuring high-quality 3D models and a unique mare's leg variant. It also includes custom animations by Cadaver, which can be purchased from KLEO, making the weapon feel more realistic in-game. The mod is designed to be seamlessly integrated into Fallout 4's Sandbox, allowing you to find the weapon throughout the Commonwealth. There's also a unique version available for purchase in Good Neighbor. Next up is the Crusader Pistol. This mod adds the Crusader Pistol from Fallout 76 to Fallout 4, allowing you to use this impressive firearm from the mountains of Appalachia in the wastelands of Boston. The mod offers a variety of receiver options, enabling you to customize the weapon to your liking. Additionally, this mod is script-injected into the loot pools of Broderhood of Steel Soldiers, Scribes, Merchants, Gunners, Raider Bosses, and Legendary Loot becoming available after completing the Reunion's quest. Experience a new weapon in Fallout 4 with this mod. 
In this segment, we'll be introducing mods related to animations. First up is the Handmade Rifle Animations mod. This mod adds new first-person animations for the Handmade Rifle included in the Nuka World DLC. It features four different reload animations, supports tactical reloads, introduces new reload sounds, and even includes tactical sprinting. Using this mod, the Handmade Rifle can easily compete with modern rifles. I was truly amazed at how much this mod could improve a vanilla weapon. I highly recommend trying it out. It really upgrades the Handmade Rifle to a whole new level. Next up is the California Girls Dance. This animation mod allows players to perform the California Girls Dance in-game. It is based on Chad Kensington's Shake It emote from Friday the 13th. The dance can be executed using two console commands, with versions available both with and without music. This mod enables any humanoid actor to dance, making the game more enjoyable and fun. This time, I'll introduce an outfit mod, starting with the Gantz bodysuit. This outfit adds a bodysuit inspired by the Gantz anime, manga series, and supports CBBE and 3BBB body slide, allowing for more detailed adjustments to your character's body shape. The suit features an overall black design with cores decorating various parts. When removed, it has a swimsuit-like appearance, allowing you to customize it to your liking. Next up is Tumba Jamba's Minutemen Armor Collection. This mod introduces a new collection of Minutemen armor to Fallout 4, including various outfits, impressive Minutemen power armor, and unique weapons. Each outfit offers a range of customization options, allowing players to create their own unique style. This mod particularly enhances the individuality of the Minutemen, making them more stylish and distinctive in the game. It includes various textures and details that increase the overall immersion of the game. Finally, let's introduce some workshop-related mods. First up is the Settlement Defense Systems mod. This mod enhances the defense elements of Fallout 4 settlements by adding and modifying existing features. It introduces four new turrets, five reworked basic turrets, one spotlight, and eight new guard posts to help settlers defend their homes. Additionally, it includes three static vehicles for settlement decoration. This mod comes with defense statistics. Turrets are marked as critical or protected, meaning only the player or a nuclear explosion can destroy them in the basic version. In the invincible version, turrets and guard posts each have 250 defense points, while the spotlight has 25 defense points. Turrets and spotlights do not require external power supply. Next up is Vertical 4 Settlements, reliable landing pads for vertebrates. This mod allows you to build reliable vertebrate landing pads in your Fallout 4 settlements. Vertebrates will always land on the pads constructed within your settlements, and you can conveniently call them using a console without the need for signal grenades. The lights automatically turn on when a vertebrate approaches and lands, enhancing immersion. Additionally, the mod ensures maximum compatibility with other mods, making your gameplay more convenient and efficient. And that wraps up our list of must-have Fallout 4 mods for August 2024. I hope you found something new and exciting to enhance your game. Whether you're looking to overhaul your visuals, add new gameplay mechanics, or just freshen up your experience, these mods are sure to bring your Fallout 4 adventure to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more mod showcases and Fallout content. And as always, leave a comment below letting me know which mod you're most excited to try or if there's any hidden gem I might have missed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy modding, everyone!